Why are we so afraid of commitment? Well, if that's you, I want to share three things that you can benefit when you commit in your heart. Welcome to the podcast where mental health is at the core of what we focus on. We strive to develop people like you to maximize who you are and what you've been called to do by sharing tools and resources for better brain health. And now here's your host, Juan Garcia. Hey, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is Monday, so it's Mindfulness Monday. And today I want to focus on the topic of commitment. I know, I know for some of you that's a cuss word. I'm sorry, but we got to go there. We have to talk about commitment because there are actual benefits that we can experience when we are committed, whether it's a relationship, a career, uh, decisions that we have to make, Whatever it is that we need to commit to, there are benefits when we do so. Now there's a quote and I'm not sure who actually said it so I can't give the right person their credit, but the quote goes like this, reluctance to commit is natural, refusal to commit is deadly. Basically, we have a natural desire to fear commitment. We're, we're, we're scared of high risk. We're scared of the unknown. And we don't like to commit to something that we don't really know how things are going to turn out. We want to have control. We want to be able to say, I commit to this because I know the outcome. I know exactly how things are going to pan out. Well, you know, life is not like that. Life is not simple. Life has twist and turn. Someone once wanted to uh, learn or have an, a visual as to what success looks like. And in their mind, they thought success had this, this upward trajectory, a straight line going up. And um, the person that they were uh, speaking to, they said, well, if you want a straight line to describe success, actually the only place you're gonna find a straight line is on a heart man monitor and it's usually someone that's dead. It's a flat line. When you actually look at someone that's alive, you're gonna notice that their heart monitor is gonna go like this, like this, like this, like this. And that's an indication that the person is alive. Success is the same way, ups and downs, ups and downs. And it's how we respond to the downs that determine how up we're going to be in the trajectory of our lives, our decision-making, our relationships, our career, etc. So success begins with commitment. And when we are naturally afraid to commit, we do not look at the benefits of what commitment can give us because we're just scared. It's something that we don't want to deal with. Well, a, a few things that I can share with you that benefit once you in your heart are willing to commit and hopefully this will help you lean more towards the side of commitment because remember refusal to commit is deadly and you don't want to go in that route you want to make sure that you obviously consider all the ramifications of your decision you want to consider all angles perspectives you want to get someone's uh, um, input someone you trust someone you're being held accountable by so that Once you make a decision, you're committed and your commitment is true. And here's the first benefit that you will experience when you commit to something or someone. First benefit is increased creativity. When you give your heart to something or someone, your creativity is uh, exponentially increase because now you have a target, you have a focus, and it's something that you care about, it's something that you love, something that you're passionate about. Your creativity is going to go all out the roof. You're going to be dedicated to that thing. You're going to want results. You're going to want things to grow. You wanna, you're want you going to want things to uh, be successful. So your creativity automatically is increased when you are committed. The second benefit that you can experience when you are committed is increased energy. There's something about commitment that once you know where you're headed and once you know what your focus is, 
It gives you more energy. You, you thrive. You are uh, focused. Again, you have a specific aim and a goal in mind. And so that gives you more energy. You are uh, really, really excited about getting this done or getting into this relationship to a, a higher level. And so your energy is lifted. You have more focus. You have uh, all of the tools that you need. You, you're going to go after it because you have the energy that you need to fulfill that. And lastly, the third thing that I believe you can benefit when you commit is priorities. Yes, one of the things that we experience in life that do not allow us to commit is that we are scattered. We are all over the place. Jack of all trades, master of none. Because we have no commitment, we have no focus, no dedication to something or someone specific. So when we do commit, we automatically have priorities because we are more willing to say yes to the right things and no to the things that are potentially going to distract us or get us away from fulfilling the things that we desire to do. So commitment is a huge thing to be mindful of. When you are committed to your job, to your career, you are going to be more creative towards it, you're gonna have more energy, and you're going to prioritize what things you do during the week, when you get home, if you're gonna shut down early, if you're gonna plan ahead, you're gonna prepare the night before. All of these things begin to be a priority in your life because you have a commitment to your job or your career. When you are committed to a relationship, whether it's a love relationship or it's a familial relationship, you begin to become more creative as to how you invest in that relationship. You also have more energy. You get excited when you are going to be with that person. You're going to spend time with that person and you will also prioritize. You will say no to the things that do not feed you, do not, do not give you fulfillment, and you're going to say yes to those relationships. You're going to prioritize and you're going to put them in a higher esteem because you're committed to these relationships. And that is the power of being mindful of your commitments. So that is the episode for today. I hope it's helpful to you. Remember to please, please, please subscribe, like, comment, share. We, we know that there are many people that are benefiting from mental health topics. And this is just a reminder that you have the power to give someone a tool and a resource by sharing this information so that they can be also encouraged. And maybe they never saw commitment the way that we are describing it in this episode. So you have that power to share with them so that they can see commitment as a good thing and not as something scary or a curse word. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your support. Tune in as we continue to provide great resources in the method of our podcast. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for tuning into our podcast. For more information, visit our website at juangarciaenterprises.com. Our host, Juan Garcia, is available for speaking, coaching, and one-on-one counseling. You can email us at info at juangarciaenterprises.com. Until next time, remember, we only have one mind, so mind yours.